Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about the custom content type that I created in my previous demo. As you'll notice, uh, when I create a task here by clicking the new item, I get the simple form. And then when I open a task, I can switch to the other content type, switch between the entry IT tickets, which shows me the simplified view, or the issue, which shows me all the fields. If you want that to be automatically done after a ticket has been created, so you create a ticket and then it automatically switches to the other content type, that can rather easily be done. And that is done with a um, workflow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this demonstration. So I'll go into the IT tickets and then I will create a new workflow. Switch content type. And that can be a SharePoint 2013 workflow, it works perfectly. And then of course you need to end the workflow. Go to a stage, go to end a workflow. And then the action, which is going to run automatically when an item is created, will be to switch the content type. And there's no such action. But there is a set field in current item, that's the one, everyone. And the field we want is the content type ID. As you see, I can switch that between the different ones. And the reason I don't see the simple tickets there is simply because I haven't refreshed. The SharePoint Designer was already open when I switched to it, when I added that content type. So now if I change again, I've got the entry ticket. So I'm going to switch over to the issue. So that's it. It starts automatically and it updates a field set to all right so i'll publish that and then i'll go over to the web interface here create a new simple task and i'll just save that and here's the switch content type workflow and um, that's going to be running soon it's kind of like when a kettle boils it happens after a while when you're not looking so now this is completed so let's go back to the it tickets and there's my tickets i'm just now when i open that it is indeed in the issue content type if i don't want the workflow to be visible there i can of course just modify the view so that it's not visible anymore so in summary, what I did was uh, I already had a tickets list with two different content types. Then I created a workflow that runs when an item is created and that changes the content type of the item. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.